Allahu samad And this is a complete separate sentence. And Allah Azza wa Jal could have used the pronoun by saying, Who was samad Allah could have said, Who was samad But He mentioned His name again to make a complete independent sentence. Allah is also a samad And what does a samad mean? A samad is one of the most comprehensive names of Allah. Over 20 opinions what it means, but it all goes back to two meanings. It all goes back to two meanings, and both of these meanings are also complementary. The first meaning, a samad means the one who is perfect in himself. The one who has reached the perfection, the kamal, in every single aspect. And the second meaning of a samad, الذي يصمد إليه الأشياء the ones المخلوقات the ones whom the creation turns to every creation turns to him that is الصمد and the two meanings are complementary because only because Allah is perfect the first meaning will the creation that is imperfect turn to him and that is the second meaning so the الصمد really what it means is the one whom everything must turn to for every need of theirs this is what the الصمد means if you're hungry Allah must give you food or else you will never get it. If you're sick, a samad must cure you or else you will never be cured. If you need anything, you need air to breathe, a samad, you have to turn to a samad. And if samad does not give it to you, then you're not going to get it. So the samad is the one whom you turn to. Every creation turns to a samad for every need. This is a samad. Now, notice here, Al-Ahad affirms the perfection of Allah in himself. A samad affirms the perfection of Allah in a relationship with the creation. Allah is perfect in Himself and the creation is in need of Him. Al-Ahad, Al-Samad are complementary names similar to Al-Hay, Al-Qayyum. Al-Ahad, Al-Samad, the two combinations are similar to one another just like Al-Hay, Al-Qayyum are also complementary and similar. Al-Hay, the one who's ever living. Al-Qayyum, the one who provides others what they need. Similarly, Al-Ahad, the one who's unique in himself. Al-Samad, the one who provides others what they need. Qul huwa Allahu Ahad, Allahu samad Allah is Al-Samad. He doesn't need anything, everything needs him. This is what a samad also can translate into English. He does not need anything, and everything needs him for everything. This is a samad. And it is one of the most unique names of Allah, and it is the only time it is mentioned in the Quran. Allahu samad. 